and, um, and I got the footage, and I, I, I can't say that I loved the movie. I really liked the movie Maker. Her name was Amy Heckerling, and she made uh, Clueless, if you remember that one, and Fast Times at Richmond High. She's cool. She's very good at what she does. And she had this very bold scene. It was just before the credits. It was at the end. It was about two nerds. I could relate. I think one half of two. That at the end of the story, the, 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 the two nerds fall in love, and they, they, they have a long kiss and embrace, and it was three minutes long with no cuts. It was so fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> They had a really bad, some really bad 80s song fill in the spot at the moment. I turned that down and I watched it a few times and watched the, the cadence of the camera and, uh, and, 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 and I wrote the song to it. And that's the reason if you hear, when you hear the song, the original version, it speeds up and slows down in places. What I was doing was trying to mold it to the scene and make you feel something. And, and that was, it made people cry when they saw it. I thought it was great. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they played the scene for one of those voting audiences, one of those jive-ass things in Hollywood where people vote on what they like for the ending. I have it down that my song wasn't in the scene when they when they voted it out. They had the 80s song in there. The song totally got voted out. I know, it's a bummer, so... I know, fuck that shit. I just had to have you with me at the time you could call the movie people up there. for the song uh, in another part of the movie and I turned it down because uh, I, I, I had my heart on, on, the, on the one scene. So the song ended up on Rock in the Suburbs. Now, after, after having been dedicated to loads of people, because people ask for it all the time, I'd like to dedicate it to who it's really for, and, and that's my wife and this song is for her.